Hey everyone, Smug Goat here. When I'm not pulling a cart for the gnome menace, <laughs> or using my human form to weld the future, Suction. I'm playing video games and writing Little Goat Bits video game reviews. This is Path of Exile. Path of Exile is a free-to-play Diablo clone action RPG by Grinding Gear Games and can be argued as a spiritual successor to Diablo 2 emulation-wise. In Path of Exile, you play as an exiled protagonist pitted against the world as it tries to kill you off. Path of Exile branches into three modes of gameplay. The first mode is Standard Mode, your traditional casual game of Path of Exile. Betrayal Mode is micromanagement of a assassin organization and normal style gameplay. Then there's hardcore mode for the hardcore gamers out there. There's a multitude of classes to choose from, but this human form of mine chose the only logical choice for its genetic superiority, the North FC Barbarian. In betrayal mode, as you quest along the way, you're tasked with dealing with a band of undying bandits, so-called the Immortal Syndicate. You'd think that being immortal, they do more productive things than just pull caravans around all day into portals. We got you now, murderer! It's off to the guillotine for you! Wait, wait, aren't these guys basically immortal? Shouldn't we be using them for hard labor and interrogation instead? Oh, I don't know. The skill tree in Path of Exile is vast and can be built in many ways. You can choose to copy paste a build straight from the forms and face melt the content or build your own build for your own unique adventure. <coughs> During your journey, you'll encounter tests in your path to ascendancy. These tests of don't get turned into hamburger meat from grinders and touch a tablet allow you to unlock a hidden pathway. That said pathway leads you to fight a near unkillable demigod who tests if you are left wanting. You could simply just beat the boss, or like me, purposely die to grind levels at over 200 IQ capacity. <coughs> PvP can be fun if you like stun locking and getting stun locked to death. The servers do suffer from rubber banding issues, however that comes at the price of a free to play game with no subscription. In fact, the only actual time you can spend money in this game for microtransactions is on cosmetics, which is actually very admirable for a gaming company these days. Though the community is not as vast as it was, or depending on patch or server-wise, the community chat can be very helpful if you're stuck on anything. For a decent Diablo clone, I give this game a 4 out of 5. It's available on Steam right now, and is the perfect time grinder when you've got nothing better to do. This is Smug Goat signing out. Have a good day.